A new scandal is erupting at USC. That's right. It involves the son of L.A. County Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas and a questionable donation. KCON 9 Blue reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with more on the story. In fact, a lot of questions here, questions about whether laws were broken, and so they're turning now to find out. The L.A. Times first broke this story, and tonight we're learning more about it. USC quietly hired Mark Ridley Thomas's son. Around the same time, his dad's campaign fund made a big cash donation to the school. But when people on campus got wind of it and complained, the school suddenly fired him. And now federal prosecutors reportedly want to know more about the payment and how it was used to see if any broke any laws. Nonviolence is a powerful way to heal. Just a few months after former Los Angeles State Assemblyman Sebastian Ridley Thomas resigned from the legislature last December, he was hired by USC to be a professor of social work and public policy, even though the LA Times reports he did not have a graduate degree. And he reportedly received a scholarship, too, worth $100,000. The Times reports USC administrators launched an investigation, and Sebastian Ridley Thomas was reported fired last month. Ridley Thomas's attorney put out a statement defending his client's admission and employment at USC, which he says was done through normal channels and was based on his own merits. He said Sebastian Ridley Thomas was hired with the enthusiastic recommendation of the faculty. But the story doesn't end there, because in addition to the firing, the L.A. Times reports USC officials told the U.S. Attorney's Office that they were concerned about a $100,000 donation to the university from a campaign fund controlled by Sebastian's father powerful L.A. County Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas. And in the end, the $100,000 gift reportedly wound its way into the coffers of a nonprofit group outside the university, a group that the Times reports is run by Mark Ridley Thomas's son, Sebastian Ridley Thomas. Criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Steve Meister says the Times report raises serious questions. It looks like SC was a pass-through for this money, and it looks like there were favors done for Mark Ridley Thomas uh, and his son by SC getting a donation and then hiring the son for a job that he may or may not have been qualified for and that he may or may not have done. But in his statement, Sebastian Ridley Thomas's attorney said this about the transaction. Furthermore, neither my client's scholarship nor his salary had any implied or stated connection with any donation to USC. We strongly believe USC's decision to terminate him was erroneous and precipitous. We are now actively considering legal remedies. Although this case certainly may not result in criminal charges, it appears to be another setback for USC, a university that's been slammed with a series of scandals and cover-ups by university officials. No institution wants to be known as scandal-plagued, but USC is right now, and it's way beyond the athletic department this time. Now, the Times reports USC has removed the dean who oversaw Ridley Scott's hiring, and unlike some of the other recent incidents, this time, USC officials move quickly in reporting it to the feds and taking action.